couple started at noon today, uh, or 11 a.m. Thing and things went by really quick. Uh, I mean, 27 teams, so teams was a little short on entrance, but should be good. Who do we got? Clovis and Pace. All right, so Pace, the Mewtwo, and Clovis, Diddy Kong. Definitely are going to be two Indiana natives here sitting down and playing. One wants to wonder if these two actually have uh, played each other uh, frequently. Yeah, it's definitely one of those matchups that can be like very volatile. You know, you do have your down tilt up smash, but of course Mewtwo has a lot that he can do uh, in terms of his deflection of projectiles to really make this a pain for Diddy as well. So, you know, we're going to see how they're able to play it out. Tries to go for the down tilt spoiler, doesn't get the conversion. This is another one right there as well, but he's still commanding the lead regardless. Mm -hmm. All right. Pace doing an excellent job of just dictating the uh, how the game is going to go. Doing incredible damage very early on. Down tilt, looking for an air dodge read into fair, but uh, Clovis not going to give it to him. Down yeah. tilt's just going to get force a grab, trying to even up this percent game. Di like Diddy is one of those characters where even when he's behind, he can bring it back right. with just one banana. Uh, Diddy Kong is one of the characters in this game with the most consistent neutral game simply because of the banana. Uh, but Mewtwo, like you were saying, he's one of those characters who kind of like mitigate the use of right. banana. He's got the confusion. Uh, so he can just kind of like turn it oh. on. But Diddy Kong, bring it back with the quick forward smash. One, two hit, and that Mewtwo's out of there. But responds yeah. right away with a nair into fair. Hey, smash is a dialogue, man. Somebody says something, you have to respond. It's the only way. You can't leave him hanging. Nope. Ne never give your opponent a breather, even when you just, uh, oh, I thought he was just going to drop down in there. Yeah, it would have been a quick way to make him not have the barrels anymore, but looks like he's going to survive another day. Pace trying to get that percent back into his favor. Clovis doing his best job to hold on to this peel, see if he can find a moment where he can punish a bad option from Pace and then convert into a lot of percent for himself. Ooh, that's going to be a shield grab. Down throw into down tilt. Loving these gra uh, the in like the I guess mix up on the grab. Most Mewtwo's they just go for forward throw or back throw uh, once they get a grab because they just want to get that reliable damage and just reset the neutral. But Pace mixing up the throws, throwing off Clovis a bit and able to get a little bit more out of oh these grabs. My God, the Galaxy Hand is going to do so much damage. Yeah, it was very smart by him as well because he had just made Clovis eat an entirely fully charged Shadow Ball onto his shield. So he went for that up smash knowing that even if he tried to shield it, he'd be in a very scary situation. Now, ooh, oh, wow. I was about to say, I'm like, he's looking for these nares into up tilt to up smash. Because I'm not really, he's not going for these footstools. So maybe Pace is not confident in his uh, nair footstool game. Ooh, there's shield again. And now he's going to wait, waste time on that platform, run away, wait for that shield to get recharged. Clovis looking for something. Up throw, but that's going to seal it. the deal. Mewtwo, even with, uh, even with that uh, platform assist, he right. didn't even need it. Yeah. He, they could have been on the ground floor of Smashville, and that would have killed because of Very how much percent potent, was on that Diddy. Extremely potent move. You know, it's just one of those things where <laughs> it's just, it is how it is. Like, yeah. he was looking a little bit behind, actually, right? Because we did see yeah. the first stocks get taken away from Pace, you know, and then he was able to bite back fairly quickly, come back in the game to really start exercising his dominance in the neutral, manage to get himself a down throw, go for that down throw, go for the forward air, quick 33-ish percent, and then just kept on putting on the pressure with the Shadow Ball in conjunction with just, like, all these options on shield. I'm like, crap, if I if I tank the Shadow Ball on my shield, now like, I'm locked out of doing certain things until my shield comes back, and it just makes it a lot easier for someone in that scenario to close out the game. Yeah. And we're seeing a battlefield counter pick come out from uh, Clovis. Interesting choice. I personally know that Mewtwo's love tri platforms. They're able to uh, extend their movement with teleport cancels on the ledge. But you know, th maybe there's something doesn't want to uh, give Mewtwo these early kills from forward air and up throw. Yeah. So because of battlefield's extended pl uh, blast zones on the top and side, and even the bottom. So we do keep seeing that uh, more often than not. Pace is often to go for, for the up smash a lot, you know, even though he hasn't really gotten a kill with it. Combine that with the up throw as well, and you're saying, well, that's a lot of kills off the top. Um, so, you know, doing it this way seems to be uh, working out at least now, you know, he's still managing to keep it even, but the first game was like this as well. So we're going to see what the script is this time around. All right. And, you know, Pace, game one, he was really setting the pace of how this set was going to go, but Clovis is... Uh, really doing a good job of now utilizing this stage. Get, it's a little bit bigger than Smashville. 
uh, and he's able to take that openness that he gets from the st uh, the, the map counter pick, and he's really utilizing the counter pick uh, to his advantage. All right, throws the peanut, back dashes out of their pace, having none of it. And it's one of those things where we see that over and over to keep sending things back and oh, the game audience. Let's go. Oh, um, love it. I love hearing you <laughs> talk. <laughs> anyway, back throw gonna just send him off stage. Get that uh, stage control so he can charge that shadow ball and uh, pace. He hasn't been on the mark much with these shadow balls. He's kind of just using them to force Clovis to recover high and just get back onto the stage. He just throws it. He's not very like he's not using it as this uh, looming pressure right. tool that you see like you choose like Abadango, like Wadi do. Oh my God! Woo. I did not think he was gonna get that. But shadow ball gonna seal the deal. Pace takes first blood at this game. Yeah any sort of hint at how the rest is going to go. Clovis really needs to figure something out now. He does have pace at 111. He's not too far off from getting that kill conversion. He just needs to find it. Goes for the up smash. Not able to punish the teleport. What is that teleport cancel it's coming so into play. Clean, right? That's, that's why we're talking about Are you sure this is the stage you want for a counter pick? Well, it's too late now. You're already here. And what are you going to do to make sure that it's worth it for you? Yeah. I mean, now that uh, pace was able to take game one, how is he going to just keep extending this lead? He's going to sit back and create Shadow Ball pressure. Hover, making that Shadow Ball just charge up and force Diddy Kong to approach. But if Diddy Kong's not approaching with a banana, he's not really a big threat towards pace. Oh no, he's getting Ooh. a little too antsy. You know, throwing that banana, assuming it's going to hit and then going for the up smash, but there's a very strong possibility that he's just going to shield it, right? You don't want to blow it too early. You yeah. want to hold on to it and just make sure that you have your kill confirmed and you're praying that it's going to hit. Yeah. Oh, there we go. that Forzo is going to kill. That was, uh, I think, a little bit of a DI mix-up. I think uh, Pace was thinking a down tilt into fair, down tilt into up smash was going to happen, but just run up and fair him. Just give him the old John Madden. Yeah, get out of here. Now he's going to run forward. This is actually, I consider, like, pretty easy for Diddy to come back at, right? You know, where your your throw conversions give you a good chunk of mileage here it was kind of build up percent really quickly so if he's able to get the banana peel out and into play he can bring it back for himself but it looks like pace is having none of that as he keeps exercising his dominance in the neutral game yeah we need to see from clovis oh, oh. that was very risky he could have gotten scooped in by that last hit of upset Try to but we, to the DM. we need to see clovis just start kind of like making his own, own is he going to make this back yeah well he's diddy kong deep kong Good roll through, but Clovis needs to kind of just like put the pressure on. He's got to keep that banana in play and kind of like force uh, Pace to get in shield and just side B. Use Monkey Flip. Yeah. That tool is so good. It, it is the best worst move for Diddy Kong. It's killed Diddy Kong so many times, but oh. at the same time, it's such a good tool. But, you know, he's just going to get grabbed and tossed up into the sky. Mewtwo yeah. takes that 2-0. Pace moves on into winner's bracket. Be like that sometimes, man. He was on the start of what seemed to be a come up comeback, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> Tripping over my words today. But he